everybody, welcome back to our channel. And as you all know, the coronavirus is going um, all over the world now. And most of us are at home with our families. Um, here in Las Vegas, we have been um, in lockdown since last night, midnight. Um, our governor, you know, ordered the lockdown for Las Vegas and the casinos were closed down um, last night, midnight and all the businesses except for the essential businesses are open so almost um everyone should be home um, with their families right now and please um, i do urge you since i have the platform to um, extend some of my opinion i do urge you to stay home for the sake of yourself and others so that the virus can stop uh, spreading so I just wanted to make some videos while you know we're all at home to show you guys a few recipes that you can make um, easily with whatever you have left in the pantry or in the refrigerator. And one of the easy recipes I'm gonna show you guys today is just a cold pasta recipe. Um, this one was really affordable from Trader Joe's. This um, bow tie pasta was 99 cents. And I just kind of cut up whatever veggies I had in the fridge um, and I'm just going to throw it all together. It doesn't have to be complicated, the recipes you make at home. And I know everybody um, is, you know, worried probably about their food supply, their water supply, but just be creative in the things that you make for your family, ration things out and you should be fine with whatever supplies you have and they still do have supermarkets open and some pickup and delivery restaurants open um, so you can also avail of those things right now so you guys let's go ahead with this cold pasta recipe that is really versatile and easy for anyone to make so i what i have here is some um, boiling water this is about eight cups of water and I'm just waiting for that to boil. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil and salt. So we're just gonna boil the pasta. This specific one is uh, for nine to 10 minutes and you want it kind of al dente. You don't wanna over boil your pasta then it's gonna become mushy. And then we're just gonna drain that when it's done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and saute some chickpeas, garbanzo beans here. If you happen to have garbanzo beans, that is great. Just look in your pantry and see what you have there and just get creative. And for me, I have a ton of chickpeas, garbanzo beans in other words. Um, so we are gonna saute that in this pan and we're gonna season it up and roast it and we're just gonna put it on top of the cold pasta salad. And so far, you guys, I have cut up, these are all half cups here. I have some cucumber that I cut kinda in little pieces bite-sized pieces and this is the last of my green onion i'm just going to put part of this in there not the whole thing and i'll save the other half for another recipe and then i just have a teaspoon of minced garlic some shredded carrots about these are all around half a cup some cilantro or you can use parsley whatever you have any fresh herbs you have and then this is just um some uh, celery with the leaves i love the celery leaves it gives um, your salads and other noodle dishes are really nice flavor. Um, also, I have some black olives that I've drained and rinsed and just some broccoli. We're just going to, we're not going to cook the broccoli. It's a cold pasta salad. We're just going to cut it up, uh, chop it up in tiny um, bite-sized pieces. And then I have one lemon that we're going to juice in this lemon juicer here. Some extra virgin olive oil nutritional yeast for uh, nutritional purposes and a cheesy flavor, some turmeric, cumin, Himalayan uh, pink salt, fine Himalayan pink salt, um, some freshly ground black pepper and some garlic pepper seasoning. So let's go ahead and get started. And I also have a can of chickpeas I gotta open and drain and rinse. So I'm just adding some oil and salt to the pasta water. Just eyeball it. I would say like a tablespoon of uh, any cooking oil and just like a teaspoon of salt. You always wanna season your pasta. It just gives it a really nice flavor. You guys, the pasta I'm using today is the farfel. Is that how you pronounce it? Farfel. And 
you want to stir this once in a while to ensure that it doesn't stick even though there's oil in there you just want to move it around every now and then and just kind of make sure that it's all separated and while that's boiling you guys i'm going to go ahead and slice these black olives that i've rinsed and drained and chop the broccoli into bite-sized pieces okay so i'm just slicing these olives and they do have the olives that's already sliced but the ones i have are the ones that are um whole olives um you know with no seeds in them they're pitted already but it's whatever you have on hand you guys get creative and this is a good side dish or um, you can even eat it as a main dish and it'll store nicely in the refrigerator for a few days so you know try to make things that's gonna feed the whole family and it's gonna last you guys for at least you know a couple days and at least all your pantry items are not sitting in the back going to waste or not being used so what you can do is take inventory of what you already have and just try to come up with different recipes of what you have that way you're not just um, using what you normally use and you can rotate your pantry items um, regularly if you do that that way none of the items that you do buy get old and expire and it will just be so wasteful um, to do that so that's what i try to do i put all the old items in the front and all the new stuff that i buy goes towards the back that way there is no food waste at all get the broccoli chopped here just in little pieces So just something like that, about that size. So I went ahead and tested the pasta noodle and it is perfect, it's al dente. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain it and then we're gonna rinse it with cold water. And I got this big um, stainless steel mixing bowl, we're gonna put it in and top it with all the ingredients. But before we go ahead and do that, I'm gonna go ahead and saute the garbanzo beans. going to let the pasta sit in the strainer for a little bit. I have this big strainer that it's sitting in in the sink. I'm just going to let that um, drain out the excess water. That way it's a nice, uh, you know, dish without a lot of water in the bowl. So that's going to sit there for a little bit. And let's go ahead and get on the garbanzo beans. Okay, so I have the olive oil for cooking and I have the extra virgin olive oil for salad dressings. And I'm just going to put about like a teaspoon. Let that heat up for a little bit. So once that heats up a little bit, you guys, I am gonna go ahead and add the minced garlic. We have one teaspoon of minced garlic, or in other words, uh, two garlic cloves. Okay, so I'm just gonna saute this for like 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and add the uh, garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Okay. 
give it a nice mix with the garlic and then you can go ahead and add your seasonings. And we're gonna put a little bit of nutritional yeast. This um, is a nice seasoning and it has a nice cheesy flavor. You guys can eyeball it. Um, I'm just gonna put like around about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and a little bit of garlic pepper seasoning. Fresh ground black pepper. Okay, some of uh, the Himalayan pink salt. This was ground cumin. Okay, and some turmeric. And if you guys wanna make this a little spicy, go ahead and add some chili pepper, cayenne pepper, um, uh, red pepper, red chili pepper flakes, red pepper flakes, whatever you would like. But the kids are gonna eat these and they're not that into spice, um, except for my oldest daughter, she loves spice. Um, but my youngest one is, is not that into spicy foods. So I'm just gonna omit that on this recipe. Other words, in other words, you can basically um, season this up however you would like. So we're gonna go ahead and cook this for about 10 minutes until they're nice and roasted, but make sure not to burn it. Just keep a close eye on it and put it on a medium heat. It smells so good right now, you guys. It's so fragrant and it's gonna have a nice uh, addition to our pasta salad. It's gonna give it another layer of flavor. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit for um, a little while and every couple of minutes, I'll go ahead and check on it and stir it. Okay, great, so it's been about 10 minutes and I'm keeping a close eye on it. Okay, so that is done. I went ahead and turned off the heat and I am gonna set this aside over here for a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside over there and we're gonna go ahead and get started on assembling this pasta salad. And let's work on the nice, simple dressing. You guys can always use Italian dressing or any vinaigrette in a bottle if that's what you have on hand. Um, there's no rules. It's whatever you have on hand, use it up. Um, just to make things easier, you know, just use up what you have. In this case, I do have some a lot of fresh lemons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just juice um, the juice of one lemon. Okay, I think I got all the juice out of that lemon. That was a good lemon. Okay, and all the seeds are on top, which is great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix my dressing in here and I'm just eyeballing everything. Okay. So any extra virgin olive oil you have. So I'm gonna put a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then just some salt and pepper. Okay, and a little bit of salt. You can use any salt you like. Today for this recipe, I am using fine Himalayan pink salt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and whisk this salad dressing together.
Okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside. So here's our pasta, and this is the fun part, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and put all the ingredients in and give it a good mix. So we're gonna start with all these ingredients over here. Here is our broccoli. That was like, um, I would say like a cup of broccoli. And these are like half a cup of the other ingredients, the sliced black olives that, have, that are pitted. Um, however, on the green onions, I'm not gonna put all of this. Um, it's a bit much. I'm just gonna put half of this. So I would say a quarter cup of green onions. And I am gonna save the remaining for another recipe, maybe for um, another type of salad that I'm gonna to do tomorrow. Okay, here is the cucumbers. The cilantro or any fresh herbs you have on hand that you like. And shredded carrots. And one stalk of celery with the leaves. Okay, so first I'm gonna mix this up and then we'll put the dressing and mix it again. So like a halfway uh, mix and then the dressing and then mix it a little bit more. And when you're mixing, you guys, you already know, start from the bottom and pull up to get all the ingredients at the bottom to come up. And the ones on top usually fall down on the sides. So scoop all the way to the bottom, bring it up slowly. There we go. You can even put vegan cheese and vegan lunch meats in here, uh, sliced vegan sausages, you know, grilled, whatever you would like. That's why I love cold pasta salads and hot pasta um, dishes because you can pretty much Throw whatever you want in there and then have a delicious sauce of your choice and it is good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and, oh, the chickpeas. And then I'm also going to put in the little vinaigrette we did with olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper. Now you can put a little more dressing, but I don't want it to, uh, to have too much because it'll get kind of soggy. I just like to have a little bit of coating um, for the dressing. So I'm gonna carefully mix this and kind of turning the bowl, scooping from the bottom up. Okay, you guys, so I am gonna give it a quick little try. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything in there, the olives and uh, just everything. Mmm, so good. Nice and light. Okay, so I put half of the pasta salad in here, you guys, just so you can see more of the detail on the pasta. This is good for families, um, for dinner, for potlucks, things like that. Um, there's a lot more in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will do more videos for you while we are all at home during this difficult time with the coronavirus and um, Let's all work together to stop the spread and just spend time with our loved ones, work on um, the things that maybe we've been wanting to do, little projects around the house. So just get creative, make a list of things you wanna get done that you have been putting off and uh, make some good food and enjoy time with family. And like I said, I will do more videos on 
what you ideas for you that you can cook um, with whatever you have in your fridge or pantry um, that will help you out during this time. Thank you so much, everybody, and we will see you soon. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and please press that thumbs up button. Let me know that you enjoyed this video. Leave any comments below in the comment section. And thank you so much again, and prayers for everyone all over the world. Thank you so much, everyone.